Hey guys, welcome to my home again. So, we gathered here today for me to show you the best and most effective techniques of getting a leech to bite you. My name is Tetsi and uh, I urge you to subscribe to my channel so you can follow me and keep up with my weekly videos. And if you have any questions, also post them below and thumbs up. Now, as I've explained in some of my other videos, leeches are somewhat tricky to get to bite you. So there are several techniques that you can use to get it effectively to bite. Um, I'm going to go over several techniques today and you've probably seen most of them in my videos already but just in case you haven't I'm here to show you. I'm here to show you how it's done. Okay, so one of the most interesting ways I've seen it done by other colleagues, uh, leech therapists, is by putting leech into a big syringe like this one, and this one features a large hole in the front. The problem with this is it doesn't really work. So when you place your leech inside the syringe, it takes a while for it to find its way out the hole. So by the time, you know, you're getting that leech to find the hole, your patient is getting impatient and you're not getting any work done. Oh, well, in this case, she sort of found the hole in a short time, but then lost it again. So there, it proves my point. So provided that this is not a very effective technique, there's other techniques to use. And the one I use most often is the needle technique. So that's using a pricking needle, which are sold at leeches.com, as well as the leeches. And when you use the pricking needle, you induce it to bite, considering there's a little bit of blood that comes out of the prick and the leech smells the blood, it's immediately attracted to it and usually bites right in the same place. But not every patient would like that. So therefore, it's not for every situation. Sometimes you're gonna need to use what's called the cupping. And you can cup with uh, fire cups or uh, hijama cups, which is the bloodletting cups. But the cups that I like to use are deodorant cups. These are very effective. So what you do is you take, you can take a large deodorant cup, you can take a medium one, another medium one, a bit taller than the rest, or you could take a small one. And you just place your leech inside that, that, um, that little deodorant cup. And then you just sort of turn it around. Now, the leech has no other way but to bite. Has no other choice. This technique is not always 100% effective but it is very effective, nevertheless. Sometimes I fill up a big uh, big cup, deodorant cup, with leeches 
and they, they stick to the sides or to the bottom of it and maybe it's because they like the smell of the cup or they like something about it and so when you turn the cup upside down on the patient you the, the leeches are still stuck to the sides to the walls and they don't bite in that case you will take your forceps you will remove them from the walls and then you cup again and hope for them to bite um, that's why using a clear cup is more effective because you can see the leech inside and you can see what's happening and if it is biting or not and it's better to fill it up with more than one leech so three four leeches would be good um, at least one will hang on to that place and then you can turn it around you can take the rest and you can cup them on another location so this is a very very good technique if you're just now starting out with leech therapy and you're not sure what you're doing here are some of the cups that you can use and the syringe of course you can try it it is a bit expensive uh, more expensive than the deodorant cups and of course your pricking device. Now some people say you can also induce leeches to bite by putting them in the container of water and putting one drop of white wine. White wine will get them invigorated and hungry and just maybe even upset and angry. They will want to bite. I haven't tried that method just because I never usually have any white wine around the house but hey one day I might need to try it another thing I've heard people use is honey they say if you rub a little honey on your skin then the leech might want to bite there also it brings the blood to the surface and um, in doing so it attracts the leech um, the leech smells the blood but I haven't tried that either um, again I think I'll stick with my cupping method or with my with my pricking method those are my two most most favorite methods especially the pricking well also the cupping I think I would, I would say I use both of these about equally about 50% each and I'm quite happy with the results so I don't need to go to anything else I hope this was educational for you and interesting as well. If you liked it, please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week right here on my channel. Bye!